Well, first thing, Parker did a great job of commanding counts, and um, uh, he uh, he made his pitches all afternoon. A couple mistakes he just didn't quite get where he wanted to, but outside of that, um, you know, you, you couldn't ask for a you know a much better game. I think um, you know fifth they scored with two outs, and then the, the mistake, uh, the little cutter over the middle of the plate to Hanley Ramirez that went for a home run. Uh, but he he uh, he made his pitches. Uh, it was warm out there too, and um, it's a strong seven innings. Oh, uh, you, you know, you kind of take Andrew Simmons for granted, but you know, I don't know if there's a, a better shortstop uh, that we've seen this year. This guy is so steady. Um, he's making a spectacular play, the routine play. He makes every play look easy. He caught a couple pop ups that were tough plays. Um, he, uh, you know, he was he's a big part of of uh, of um, of not only. Parker Bridwell this afternoon, but if you look at some of our pitchers and uh, they've really been performing well, it's uh, you know, I think there's a direct correlation to our defense. Our defense has been terrific. Speaking of pitching, your bullpen was lights out this whole series. How impressed have you been with what they've been able to do? The whole year, um, you know, we're we're hopefully clawing our our way back and getting into this race, and um, we wouldn't even be talking about that if you weren't talking about the the, the guys in the pen and the great job they've done and. Um, and we're going to need that to continue. Mike, what did you know about Parker when he came up for that, uh, that start? In May? Blake Parker or Parker Bridwell? Uh, Parker. Never, none of us saw him throw, uh, ever saw him throw a ball. Um, you know, uh, we had heard about him. Uh, I know that Billy Epler was excited uh, when we had an opportunity to get him because he saw the upside, and you're seeing that right now. Um, He's figured some things out. I think he's made some great adjustments and used this experience to move forward. But we had no expectations because we never we, we just had a you know report on what his stuff was like and some of the things he he does when he's going well. Uh, but you know we no we we had no idea. Um. You know, right now every win's going to be important, but you you have to focus on the process still. Uh, we you know we played well these last two nights because we did some things we needed to do, particularly on the mound. Uh, you know, we we did, we bent a little bit, didn't break, we got things done. Uh, you know, for us to reach our goal, uh, you know that process has to stay in place. So, um, the fact that you know we're we're pitching well, we're catching the ball. Uh, that's a great beginning. We need to start swinging the bats, and I think you're going to start to see some some things go our way if we can uh, if we can let our pitchers pitch a little bit without their backs being against the wall. So, yeah, everyone's going to be important. This is a great uh, series win after losing the first game, but you know we're we're looking towards Tuesday now. Well, we've been a little bit inconsistent, but what it says, I think, that when we're playing our game and doing things we can do, uh, we can definitely play with the, the best teams in uh, in baseball. But there's an asterisk there because this season is a is a test of 162 games over you know six months. So those inconsistencies, you can't just weed them out. Uh, we need to we need to play better baseball, particularly in the offensive end. And I think if we do that, then a lot of our game starts to fall into place. Uh, you know, we get into our base running, things that are really a plus for us. But I don't know if you can just weed it out against these teams or those teams. Uh, the, the fact of the matter is you need to play good baseball every time you take the field and every night you take the field if you're going to have success in, in the major leagues. And we've been a little spotty at that this year. Um, I think if you're an optimist, you're going to say encouraging, and if you're, you know, the glass is half empty, you're going to be frustrated. Um, I don't think, you know, I, I think what we see is very tangible. We know where we need to improve. So looking at our record or saying this should happen or that should happen, uh, it's not going to serve much of a purpose now. We need to get better on the offensive end if we're going to make the push we want to make. So 
there's no there's no way to there, there's no reason to feel uh, uh, frustrated. Uh, there's no reason to, to feel optimistic. We know what we need to do. So we have guys that have historically swung the bats well. That right now are struggling. We saw Louis Valbuena give it a big hit tonight. You know uh, this afternoon. Um, you know, we need some of the things, these things to fall into place. And once they fall into place, I think there's every reason in the world to be optimistic about where we can go. But right now, you know, um, you know we need to get better. Mike, did you consider letting Parker pitch a little bit? Did Parker consider his long minutes and the pitching? This wasn't as much about pitch count as it was uh, um, a number of things. Uh, some matchup issues. Uh, Parker also... You know, really just starting to get into his length as a starter as far as taking the ball every fifth day. Uh, he got to a great point of the game. Um, he he had a great outing. It was really hot out there, so I think those 78 pitches were more probably played a little bit up than they, than it looked. And um, uh, he he was he was a little he was a little frothy coming out of the game, so it was a good time. Yes, he's. I think that's. I think that's his talent. Um, he's got really late life on all his pitches. Uh, he throws strikes. Uh, he hits good spots. Um, spins the ball well, and so I think as he gains confidence, you're seeing a guy that is getting an opportunity to do something. He's. He's. Uh, you know, he's. He's kind of learning on the fly how to be a major league starter, uh, but he's confident. This kid's got great makeup. He's not afraid to go out there and challenge hitters, and uh, he's making good pitches and getting good results. How pleasantly surprising that you get good uh, power numbers from handles being shortstop. Uh, you know, Andrewton is is uh, is you know swinging the bat as well as obviously we've seen him, probably driving the ball as well as he did when he first came up with Atlanta. But he's more than that. He's using the whole field. Um, he's having a great offensive year. So the home runs are great, but. This guy's gotten key hit after key hit and playing gold glove uh, shortstop, so he's really important to us.